So here is the step-by-step -step guide on Teamwork.com. Teamwork is a web-based project management platform designed to help teams, particularly those managing client work, efficiently plan, track, and deliver projects by providing features like task management, collaboration tools, and more. So first of all, let's go ahead and check out their pricing and plans. As you can see, they have four plans, Deliver, Grow, Scale, and Enterprise. And here on the top right corner, you have the option to book a demo or try it for free. I will click on Try it for free, and here you need to put in your information. I will click on Sign up with Google, then choose your account and click on Continue. After that, you need to click on Get started for free. You can also select I'd like my site to be hosted in the EU. Then, on this page, you need to fill up all of this information, starting with your industry, how many people are in your company, how many users will use Teamwork, what role do you perform in your company, and what is the name of your company. So fill it up and type in your company name over here. After that, click on Continue. Now, on the next page, you need to select what do you want to do with Teamwork.com. Select all that apply. After that, click on Continue. Now type in your project name, then click on Continue again. Now, you need to add a few tasks. What are the first few things that you have to get done for this project? You can type in three tasks. And as you type here, you'll be able to view it on the right side just like this. So once you're done adding your tasks, click on Continue. Now, select a view for your project. Choose one from these options, and as you choose them, you will get a preview on the right side. For now, I will go with Table. Once you select the one you like, click on Continue. Now, you need to invite your teammates to your first project, so put in their email addresses on this section, then click on Continue. For now, I will skip this. Then select How did you hear about Teamwork.com. Choose the relevant answer from these options, and as you can see, there are multiple options to choose from. For now, I will select Social Media and then click Continue. And after that, your new project on Teamwork will be created. And as you can see, we're now in the Teamwork dashboard. Just wait for it to load up. And after it's done, you will get to see something like this. And on the left panel, you will have all of these options. And here on the main screen, you will get to see all the steps to get started with your project. You can select each of these from here and get started with the different aspects for your project. Now, let's go over to the left panel and click on this drop down beside Invite Team. Here, you have all of these options to choose from. Then click on the Invite Team section. Here, you can put in the email address and click on Invite. Now, let's click on Home on the left panel. You also have Search, Recent, and more. And once it loads up, as you can see, we're now in the homepage of Teamwork.com. Here, you can see all of these options on the top and all of your tasks over here. And also the information regarding each of your tasks. And if you click on the search option on the left, you can use this section to search for any projects or tasks or even milestones and all of these things. You can also use the filter option on the right to make it easier for you to search for whatever you want. You can also enable or disable include completed or include archived. You also have the option to send feedback on the top and for advanced search on the bottom. So now let's close this. After that, click on Resend on the left panel. This is where you will be able to see all of your recent searches and projects. You also have start, all, and categories. Since it's a new account, it's currently empty. Now, let's go over to the left panel and right under Manage, let's go ahead and click on Clients. This will take you to the client section on your Teamwork.com project. So click on it and wait for it to load up. This is where you'll be able to see all of your client's information. For now, we only have our company name. You will also get to see all of this information regarding each of your clients. And if needed, you can make changes over here. You can also use the search bar or use these filters. You can also upload documents by clicking this icon. 
Then if you want to add new clients, click on Add Client on the top right corner. Then after that, you need to fill up all of this information regarding your client. And once you're done, just click on Add Client. After that, let's check out Projects from the left panel. Click on Projects and this is where you'll be able to see all of your projects. You can see the list or click on Templates over here to view all of the templates available on Teamwork.com. And as you can see, there are a lot of templates to choose from. You can select any one or click on Create a Template on the top right corner. After that, you will get to see this option. You can start from scratch or use an existing project as template. So I will select start from scratch. After that, put in all of this detail starting with your project name. So go ahead and type it in. Then put in your company and workflow. After that, you need to put in your project description. Then you need to select the budget type for your project from these options. Once done, just click on Next Step. So, let's type in a project name over here. And once you're done, just go ahead and click on Next Step. So now, you need to add people to your project. Here, you can select by people or teams. Then select a project owner and click on Next Step. Here, put in your project category. Click on Add Category and then type in the category name. Then click on Add Category. And as you can see, our project category has been added. Then you can add tags to your project. Then you have time and assign a custom field. So if you want, click on Add Custom Field and fill in all of this information. Then click Save Field. After that, click on Create Template. So now, from this page, let's go ahead and click on Add Task. Once you're here, you'll be able to see all of this information. If you click on this drop-down menu, you'll be able to add task with AI or add task from scratch. Now, let's click on time on the left panel. This is where you'll be able to track and manage your task times and team performance. So click on log time. Here, you can put in a date. After that, you need to put in your project, then set the task and after that, you can mark the task as completed. Now, just fill in the other information and also add time lock tag if you want. Once done, just click on lock time. You can also save and lock another. And since we didn't fill up this information, we will go ahead and put in the detail. And once we're done putting in the information, let's click on lock time. Now, let's check out resourcing on the left panel. Go ahead and click on it. You can use this section to plan out your workload, which will make your project management so much easier. Then you have reporting on the left. This is where you can easily and efficiently manage your teamwork reports. And by using all of these tools, you can make your project management and team management so much more easier and scale up your work like you have never done before. So that is the full guide on teamwork.com.